Good afternoon everyone and welcome to my program There is Hope in Jesus Christ. Welcome to my third message. This is called The Jews and the Gentiles and basically what I'll be doing is dividing this message into two sessions where this week in part one I'll be observing the Jews and next week I'll be observing the Gentiles. Now generally what this is designed to do is just to inform persons about who are the Jews and who are the Gentiles. Alright because what what we, t we touched on them in the last session and I'm just, you know, just informing persons about these two groups of people. Now what I want you all to remember though is that from the last message I showed you all that whether you're a Jew or you're a Gentile that Jesus Christ died for us all. Alright? So this is just some clarity on these persons. So let's begin right away. Alright? In terms of who are the Jews. Okay, but before I begin... Let's just have a short a short prayer. Lord, thank you for this message that you have entrusted me to give your people today. I pray that they will receive it with an open heart and that they will gain clarity in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, so let's begin. So we're going to look at the origin of the Jews and who are they exactly. Now, we, now it has been claimed that Abraham is considered to be the father of the Jewish, the Jewish nation. Alright. Abraham had two sons, Isaac and Ishmael. Ishmael is the son of the bondwoman Hagar, and he's also credited as being the father of the Arab nation or the Muslims as we know it. Isaac was God's promise to Abraham and Sarah in their old age, and through Isaac we get Jacob, who was his son. All right, now Jacob. When you look into the, into the in the Bible, you would see Jacob being called Israel. Now, let me explain this. Jacob was wrestling with God because he wanted a blessing. All right? And when he wrestled with God, God changed his name. And let's look at Genesis 32, verse 27 to 28 to, to see this account. So, while they were wrestling, in verse 27, God asked, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, which is God, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince has thou power with God and with men and has prevailed. Alright, so when you look into the scripture, you will see Jacob's name being referred to as Israel. Now, out of Jacob, he had 12 sons, and these 12 sons, they populated the earth. Alright, so let's look at 1 Chronicles chapter 2, verse 1 to 2. Now, these are the sons of Israel. So, Israel and Jacob are the same person, they're using the word Israel here. Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah, Isaac, and Zebulun, Dan, Joseph, and Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. So these are the twelve sons of Jacob. All right, and out of them, the Jewish population grew. So where did the Jews dwell? The Jews dwelt in the land of Israel. So generally, we can say that the Israelites are the Jews. So we are getting an understanding now of where they came from. We, we, we see the lineage of the Jews. All right, eventually they scattered throughout the earth because of slavery and so forth. But that is where they generally dwell in Israel. Now, let's take a look at some of the custom and beliefs of the Jews. All right. Let's look at their beliefs. Now, the Jews believe that there is only one God and He is eternal. They believe that Jesus is not the Messiah and that one day the Messiah will come. They believe in the written Torah, which is the first five books of the um, Bible in the Old Testament and that they were given to Moses. They also believe that Moses was the greatest prophet and that all of his prophecies are true. All right. So in the Torah, we find like the blessings, the curses, certain laws that they observe. And this is also the Ten Commandments, which is something that the Jews practice. They believe that God knows the thoughts of men and that good will be rewarded, just as evil will be rewarded. And the Jews believe that there will be a resurrection. All right. The Jews also believe, if I didn't mention already, that there will be no other Torah. Right? They only believe in those teachings, the ones that Moses gave to them, certain laws that they observe. They wouldn't believe in the teachings of Jesus. Let's look at some of their customs. All right? Now the Jews, they practice circumcision, which is 
the removing of the foreskin of babies. They observe the Sabbath, which is God's rest day. This is generally done on a Saturday. They observe Yom Kippur, which is also known as the Day of Atonement. And we can find the Day of Atonement on account of this in Leviticus 23, verse 26 to 32. Now on this day, the Jews expected to pray for forgiveness for his sins. And in other words, they're trying to make things right. And on this day, there are lengthy devotional services, as well as there are, there's a lengthy fast. The Jews observe the Feast of Tabernacles, which you can find in the Old Testament in Leviticus 23, verse 34. And this is where the Jews remember their exodus from Egypt. At this time is when they will reap their crops as well, so they thank God for bountiful harvest. This is done yearly. The Jews observe Hanukkah, which is something that we're probably familiar with in recent times. And what, why, what exactly is Hanukkah all about? What, what do they observe with Hanukkah? Hanukkah commemorates the triumph of the Jews over their Greek rulers. And another thing that we've finally, the last observance that I'll be touching on, is something that we've probably heard sometime in our life. And it's known as the Passover. This is a festival that is celebrated in spring. It celebrates the exodus, exodus from Egypt. And freedom is the main theme of this festival. Now, to the lead up to the Passover, certain rites are performed. And one of these rites is where the Jews will burn forbidden food stuff. Now, the Jews, they observe a lot of laws and their ordinances and there are certain things that they ate and they didn't eat. All right? So we can see that they were very particular persons strict on certain things. So on the Passover day when they're actually having the festival there's an elaborate mention of the Exodus and at this time the extended family would gather and partake in traditional meals. Alright? So I hope you all have been blessed by this teaching. It was meant just to, for persons to learn more if they didn't know certain things about the Jews. So I hope that you all have been blessed in terms of being able to know or be able to track back the thought, the beginning, the origin of the Jews, as well as if you all didn't know, I, 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 I would trust and I'm thankful that you were able to understand some of their beliefs as well as some of their customs. All right. So in ending this message, I just want to remind you all again, and I keep doing this because I don't, I, don't, I don't want people to be sidetracked from the main theme of these messages, which is there is hope in Jesus Christ. This was just meant to educate persons in terms of who are the Jews and next week you'll be looking at who are the Gentiles. All right, so I just want to remind you all that Jesus Christ died for everyone. And if you haven't already accepted him, you can accept him today. Just, give a gen just say a general prayer to him. Ask him to come into it come into your heart, into your life, and you will gladly come and make you a new creature. Alright, so until then people, I trust that you will meditate on this message and that you will keep walking in the ordinan ordinances of God. And I want you all to keep blessed. So until then, bye bye.